What's up, douchebags? Yeah, I yelled at that stupid whore because why not? She's a fucking thief. Well, I'm not actually watching Stargate. I'm watching people explaining Stargate. So, my session has expired. Okay, so I can't tell you guys about that right now because I don't give a shit. Okay, so, let's eat this burrito. About a week away, give or take, from the election. Everyone's like, the energy, off on fire. Or was that shit four years ago? Like, I don't want anything anymore. I don't give a fuck about Virginia anymore. I'm probably going to move out of Virginia when I get all my shit done. There's no reason for me to be here. I don't give a fuck about any political party. I don't like the deep state. I don't want to go to any events with murderers there. And I don't want to be in a relationship with a rap whore or a smut actress or any of that bullshit. <clears throat> I understand my parents so much more now. If all you really want is to be with the person you love, it doesn't matter what everything else is going on in the world. Could my parents have more money? Could my parents do things differently? They totally could. But the way things work out right now, if it wasn't a whole bunch of money, the next best thing would be a bunch of food stores they've been storing for 20 years while everything's going through the roof in prices right now. This burrito, when I moved in, was $3 and coffee was $2. No, it was a $5 breakfast, give or take. Now, this burrito is $6 and the coffee is $4 and it's a $10 breakfast. It literally doubled. In two years, it doubled. Okay? So, these giant buckets of rice and noodles and potatoes and beans, those were like $10 a piece 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Anyways, Until I start going back to the office and working, I'm going to hang out and just relax and watch Stargate and shit like that. And maybe I'll play Fallout and maybe I'll do hacking shit. Who cares? Right? Like, the world's a better place because I went hacking in 2018. I'm in a much worse off place. Literally. I was just some dude who was stuck in a sparrow fart town with no education, but everyone tells me I have a high IQ. And one day, I was useful to the right people, and I got out of some trouble. And when I did that, I was like, metaphorically, this is exactly like what happens in the Book of Mormon. Because all the best spies are Mormons. Because the Book of Mormon is all about, you're better than I am, I'll be second in charge. Hey, do you guys see that leader? He fucked us over, he should put me in charge. That's literally all it is. 
And you want to see it play out in live time? Look at the PD freak off parties. That's probably what ancient um, secret combinations were like. Because there was some Roman cult, the cult of Dionysus, I think, where they would like go and party and have freak offs all the time. And that's where all the crazy shit would happen. Because if you were doing things the cult didn't like and you ended up murdered, oh, oops, you were partying too much. You're not allowed to talk about what happens at the cult of Dionysus. Freak off parties, guys. Sign an NDA. Like the reason why I'm able to just go through life and basically do whatever I want within reason is because instead of making a bunch of money on crypto and then buying Lambos and shit like that and spending it on yachts and all that stupid bullshit, you know what I did? <laughs> Ew, I'll have to get that one in a second. It landed on one of my food storage buckets. But, what was it? Um, shit, I just had a point I was about to make. You mm, snacks. Ew, it's dripping. Splat. Ew. All right, um, dude, I just don't care. I don't care. Like, you're never going to convince me that Horfany actually cares about me or she wouldn't have done any of that bullshit. If she actually cared about me in 2018, she would have said, hi, I'm Stephanie. I met you at the party. You were drunk. No, she wants attention. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So literally, like, you keep hearing those stories about how, like, all, everyone's in some kind of a handshaky club and you just want to, like, go find out for yourself so i did and i stumbled upon a gigantic coup in live time of everyone trying to take over america so i stopped it and then i went to go see what what all that's about and all that the the literally they're like five or sixes who got botox and 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 had russia pay for their makeup to make them look like a six or a seven and they put them on YouTube, and they started propagandizing all the Americans. And you're such pussies from watching TV and DEI that you fell for it. Literally. Like, all I did was account for the fact that these girls have never had a real boyfriend in their life. Even the ones who are married and have babies. They never had a real boyfriend. They're married and have babies because of their handlers told them it would make them get more views. So... I was like, okay, so they're used to having simps. What I'm going to do is almost sort of simp, not actually simp. That way they won't know how to handle it. And then I'll turn the tables on them. It's super simple. Have you ever, like, they probably, you guys probably haven't. Have you ever, like, gone up to a girl and, like, done everything but ask her out and then walk away? And then she will chase you down and ask you out. Because she can't, her ego can't handle that. You didn't ask her out. And then later on in the date, you'll be like, wow, I'm glad you asked me out. And she'll be like, no, you asked me out. I'll be like, no, this was your idea. And she'll be like, you're right, it is my idea. Let's go back to my place. The the, the trick with the girls is making them think it's their idea. Like, Horfany. That's why I was doing to you what I was doing, and it fucking worked. The problem is your handlers, your 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 dad, your management team is so shitty that they literally look. I view it as you know how in like Braveheart, when when the dude's about to get married and the guy's like, "I am the Lord, and I must deflower her, and you can have her afterwards." That's how I view it. Horfordy chased me down. Horfordy demanded I date her then she stole my money and got pimped out to a bunch of losers and is like you don't like my career you're not supporting me no you stupid whore thief no i'm not supporting you because you're a stupid rap whore because you're a smut actress because you never said any of this because you know if you told me about any of this i would have said no like these people are losers why the fuck are a bunch of adults from America taking advice from a bunch of stupid Canadian e-thoughts? Look, it's got nothing against Canada. Like, like, as a matter of fact, watching all the Stargate shit makes me realize how much I appreciate Canada. We could not have had an awesome show like Stargate if it wasn't for 
the Vancouver um, filming bullshit. There's no way. Because Stargate wasn't good until that happened. That's when O'Neill started, like, really being O'Neill. And I not don't take this the wrong way. I don't think Americans would, would wear those silly Guaul outfits. Something about cosplaying in Canada. Like, everyone's a cosplayer and everyone's a wannabe professional gamer. So getting people to wear those, those outfits was no problem. So, like, I, I've got nothing against Canada. I've got something against uh, Mossad and, and uh, those other fucking... Zionist assholes getting some stupid ethos, giving, launder, using them to launder Russian money, and then having that use a bunch of propaganda in America to start a civil war, and have who's the handler of all that bullshit? Gavin McGinnis, who shoves dildos up his ass on live TV and says it's for Trump, and Stephen Molyneux, who lost his psychiatric license because he was making cults, uh, and basically his he cheats on his wife nonstop with the young, impressionable girls he brings into his cult. I thought I was gonna... I was like, okay, I caught all the local criminals. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Clean record. I'm done. Go the extra mile. You know, is it really... Is it really a book full of metaphors for our time? Is it really... You know, I, I prayed when I was a kid, and I got that warm, fuzzy feeling... All right, let me go to the thingies. Let me go shake some hands and see what it's about. What's up, hot Asian bitch? If this hot Asian bitch isn't pulling my leg, I'll totally, I'll totally wow her for the rest of her life. I got, I got to solve this shit first. Hold on, hot, hot Asian bitch. Oh, where did she go? I'll see her again later. Wow. Knights of the what? Wow. You all print the money? Wait a minute. You know he's a murderer. You know he's a murderer, and you use that to control him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want me to get involved in your bullshit? No. No, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that either. The fact that you guys are offering me that makes me now know for it, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are the ones running this and that. I'm just going to leave and turn all this bullshit into the right people and work high-paying jobs and stack crypto and silver. Why won't they leave me alone? Why won't they leave me alone? The, the, election, was ragged. the, the election was rigged. Everyone knows this. This is bullshit. Why won't they leave me alone? Horfany? Horfany actually likes me? Wow, Horfany's a fan of my channel? I've never even met Horfany before, so she must really like me to be noticing me. Oh, wait a minute, I met you at that shitty party. And then you got pimped out to baby I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, and you're a smart actress now? That made it even worse. And you're older. And you have more nose jobs. I'm going to get a lawyer and sue you. That's basically what happened.